Hey guys, Kelsey from Badger Caring Survival. Today, we're gonna to talk about advanced food storage. It's not all about cans, rice and beans, and water. Let's do this. All right, guys, like I said, I think of this as more advanced because I think when a lot of people come to stocking foods for prepping, they think of, you know, canned stuff, um, freeze dried stuff, like pre made meals that are freeze dried, ready to eat, good shelf life. Obviously, your water, rice, and beans. So, like, not, I think these are more advanced when it comes to stocking food since most people just have the basic necessities, which that's all right, you can live off that stuff, but I like to add a little bit of out of the box kind of things that are, that are the, you know, gonna act the same way. That way you're not eating rice and beans for months on end. So let's get started here. We're gonna get started with water. Yes, we all need water to live, we get it. But adding seltzer water to your jugs or to your, water supply is a great thing due to the fact that it gives you a little fizziness when it comes to your water so you're not just drinking normal water 24 7. obviously if you have some kind of like uh, flavored drink mixes to add your water to kind of break up the the longevity of just drinking water and not anything else that's great but seltzer water gives you that fizziness it obviously lasts forever and you're gonna get natural benefits from it like curing or relieving constipation. Because when you go into a survival situation and, you're, and you have to start eating different foods than you are now, it's gonna cause a backup of your body system just because you're not gonna be able to have access to fast food and stuff, so your body's gonna have to adjust to that. So keep that in mind when you're stocking things and you wanna have you know, things like seltzer water or maybe you have laxatives or other medications to help your body adjust to the different foods that you're eating. Next on our list is canned, dehydrated, dry, whatever you wanna call it, milk. So not only is this, it's a good thing to have with you because it's good for your body. You're not really gonna have access to refrigeration unless you're just rich and have, you know, all kinds of generators and stuff to live off of. But anyways, most people aren't gonna have access to refrigeration and or the grocery store to buy milk. I guess if you have livestock, you don't have to really worry about that aspect of it. But dried milk, on average, it has a shelf life of two years. Bob's Red Mill uh, dry or powdered milk is what I recommend to buy at the store just because of the shelf life and uh, obviously it tastes good. So you want that aspect of it. Also, you can get get eggs and whey. Whey protein is a great thing to have with you. Uh, protein drinks and, and uh, protein bars are great to have with you because you get that meal replacement in certain situations where you gotta, you gotta run or you gotta go, whatever you, or whatever you need, you're gonna get your protein and your other nutrition that comes with that protein shake. So it's a good meal replacement, especially when you're gonna be doing you know, hiking and a lot of physical activity. Next on our list is canned liquids. So this could be, you know, obviously anything canned juices, but the biggest, the two juices I recommend to buy at the store are gonna be vegetable and vegetable juice and uh, pineapple juice. So the reason for this being is you can add it, you can use it for a cooking aspect too. So you add flavor to the foods, you know, to your rice, whatever that you don't already have. Also, make sure when you're buying these things, any liquids or anything like that, you wanna get canned stuff because it lasts longer, has a longer shelf life. And most of the time, a big thing with food storage is you're gonna be rotating your food. You have to constantly rotate your food. So you'll, you'll easily drink vegetable juice and pineapple juice unless you completely hate it. But all right guys, my next product, which is crazy because I don't, I don't really, I don't even have this in my stuff. Just a, it's a little out of the ballpark for me, but you know, maybe I'll try it, but it's 
it's waxed cheese. Like it's a hard cheese encased in wax. And I didn't have, I don't have this now because I didn't know much about it, but I actually kind of looked this stuff up and it, it's, it's pretty awesome. You know, like a hard cheese, like Swiss cheese or something like that encased in wax it has a 25 year shelf life. That's crazy. I don't know how it tastes after 25 years not being refrigerated. Don't know. I'm not a big cheese enthusiast, but definitely uh, a crazy thing to add to your your you know stock of food. You know, it can definitely definitely add a, a little twist to all the foods that you're cooking, especially with uh, with rice and beans and stuff like that. So, pretty cool little thing to add to it. Dried meats, poultry, and seafood. Yes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the whole poultry and seafood aspect of it, but dried meats aren't bad. If you haven't tried them, go try it. You know, it's it's not a bad, it, obviously it's not going to compare to like, you know, a nice fresh cooked prime rib, but it's definitely going to add things to your rice and beans and, and protein. It's high levels of protein. I don't really know if I would eat like the seafood aspect of it, but I would definitely buy it just because it's a great bartering thing. But obviously, you know, I say that now just because I'm a picky person when it comes to food. But when you're in a survival situation, you don't really have a choice. So, all right, next on our list is wheat, flour, flours in general, corn flour, potato flour. You want to stick towards the darker flours, in my opinion, you're going to have a longer shelf life. Also, you're going to have more nutritious value. You got to keep this in mind when you are stocking foods because you're not going to have all these things you can go through. You're not, you're not going to have vitamins, you know, your daily vitamins every day and kind of that kind of stuff. So you need to you need to do some research for yourself, for your body type, whatever you got to do to see what or, you know, do some studies of how a human sustains an average day. And you need to stock those things when it comes to your food in general, not just cookies and candy bars and dried this bullshit and that bullshit you got to you got to keep in mind of the foods you're going to eat not don't get me wrong you want to add crazy things to to break up the 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 craziness of eating beans and rice and beans and rice and beans and rice but and that's where this next product comes in is your drink mixes so energy drink mixes ovaltine your dried powder drink mixes are what you're going to want to stick to they have a longer shelf life, obviously, because they're dried. You're not gonna have refrigeration for, you know, these, like your your pouches and stuff like that are, are a decent thing to buy because they have a decent shelf life, but it, they don't have the longevity of your powdered stuff. So look towards your powdered stuff, your, you know, your little prepackaged energy drinks. They're cheap, they're cost effective, and it's a great thing to add to your water, especially if you're getting water out of a swamp or, a lake, it kind of takes that edge off of the water. So keep that in mind. Last but not least is your oils. So your your olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, these things are gonna be needed to cook foods. Co good little tip about coconut oil is it takes down the cooking time of your rice. So it's always a bonus when people are hungry in a survival situation. But obviously, I don't know if it changes the rice, it probably does the way rice cooks, but little thing to add to your stockpile of food. Guys, thanks for watching. If you guys are very, very big fans of your ready, ready to eat meals, shelf life meals, go back and look at some of our videos, you know, Mountain House, Wise Foods, uh, Patriot Supply. These things are, these places are really good for your, your freeze dried foods. The longevity is amazing. They actually taste good. They have a very high sodium content, but you're gonna get that because of the freeze dried factor. So go look into those. I'm a big fan of it, but you need to look at some of these, you know, advanced, I call them advanced, but advanced items of food to add to your, your food supply. So you don't have just, you're just not surviving off of beans and rice. So if you guys liked what you watched today, please give us that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Add to the comments down below if you think we should add something that is unique and that it's going to change the game when it comes to survival food. Put that in the comments down below. We want to hear what you have to say. Until next time, make yourself ready.